Hello everyone and welcome to this full tutorial and overview on the Parler app. Uh, so if you don't know what Parler is, it is a, a social media app. Uh, their tagline or slogan says that they are the unbiased social media. It's kind of a mixture of Twitter, Reddit, Facebook, all mixed into one. So we're going to go ahead and go over all of the features and all the things you need to know to get set up with Parler and begin using it uh, to its fullest potential currently. So you need to go to your Google Play Store or the iOS App Store and search for Parler, P-A-R-L-E-R, -E uh, and you can see it's got the nice little kind of magenta or red logo there, and download the app. Once you do, go ahead and open it up. As you can see, I've already created an account, uh, and I have my feed going here, but I'm actually going to log out, and I'm going to show you how to set up an account from scratch really quickly to get us started. When you open the app, it's going to ask you what your favorite color is. Um, from what I've found, this is just going to be kind of like the background uh, color of everything within the app. So choose the color of your choosing, and then it'll say create an account. It'll ask you for your email, phone, and password. So go ahead and input all of that now. Next, accept the terms of service and the policies and the community guidelines. Next, it'll ask you to verify via CAPTCHA, which we all know is an absolute nightmare. So this is probably going to take you the longest, but go ahead and verify now. And then once you have gone through the whole sign up process, it'll ask you to uh, follow some of the affiliates or people who are part of the uh, platform already. I'd recommend that you don't do that. You kind of start from scratch. Uh, and the reason why we're coming over here, right, is because we are looking for a less convoluted social network. So uh, basically what we're going to want to do now, once we're here, uh, we have the home button here that takes us to our feed. Uh, but if we go up here and we tap on the little image in the upper left hand corner, the profile image there, it will open up all of the options that we have here on the left to get started. So uh, the first thing you're going to see here is your profile. Now, when you sign up, it'll ask you uh, to customize your username and possibly add a picture. So if we go to my profile here, you can see that I have my name, my username, and then a couple of posts that I've kind of played around with. You can see my followers, who I'm following, comments and votes. But what you're basically gonna wanna do here is in the upper right-hand corner, there is a gear or cog wheel icon. Tap on that there, and it will allow you to change your profile image your banner image, your name, your display name, and anything associated with your profile can be changed here. You just tap on it. So right here under display name, I don't want it to be this big old long number right here. So I just delete the number and then I go ahead and give myself a new name. So let's say I want to be uh, my username to be uh, my first and last name. So I go ahead and type that in now and go to submit. And it says the username is available, tap on submit, and now that is my display name or my username. Under bio, you can write a couple of words or sentences about yourself and your business if you want to, but any customization for your profile will be done here under edit profile. Next, if we go back to our feed here and then go to the upper left-hand corner here to kind of show us the different settings, we're gonna see moderation. Now, under moderation, it will show you the review comments, the word filters, settings, and a couple of other options. Under review comments, you can see here that uh, you can review, approve, mute, or mark as spam for comments. Uh, but if we go back here to our moderation setting, we can go to word filters here. So basically, uh, you can mute a comment. Comment won't be visible to anyone except the person that created it. So we can mute comments on our post and different things within our feed. Or we can go to settings here. And under settings, we can basically create our own comment uh, filters and things like that. Uh, we can turn on the not safe for work filter if we want that to be on. Uh, so basically what that means is that the NSFW or not safe for work content will be filtered out of Parler for, for the person who has this checked. Or if you uncheck this, you will be seeing the NSFW stuff coming through your feed. So again, depending on what you want, you can check or uncheck that now. The other stuff is fairly self-explanatory about setting up how you want to flag stuff, uh, your comment filtration settings and things like that. I'm not gonna go too deep into that, uh, but you can auto approve comments or you can make everything go through a approval process for uh, your business or your profile that you have here on Parler. Uh, underneath blocked and muted members, any members that you block or mute will be here under archived. And then under content moderation, you see your violations. They have this violation system uh, that, go, that goes on a 90 day point system that if you get 20 points of violation points that you'll, your, your parlor account will be terminated. 
Uh, and so again, they're, they're trying to kind of filter out the different kind of, I guess you would say mean and rude people, uh, or people who are posting stuff on here that, that, that they should not be posting. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get out of that now and then go back to our settings here. And then we're going to see something here that says settings and privacy. This is going to be where all the fun stuff happens here. Um, under privacy, if we tap on that, this is where you choose whether you want your account to be private or public. If it's a private account, the person has to be sent a request from you. If it's public, anyone can see comment edit and do anything uh, with your account here under notifications uh, you'll receive notifications uh, via email uh, from parlor uh, if someone follows you or the daily updates from your parlor account you can again check or uncheck that if you want to receive email notifications the advanced filters here you can see uh, that you can mute notifications for people that you do not follow people who do not follow you uh, people who have no profile photo. So again, you can go through here and kind of fine tune how you want your notifications and from whom you want your notifications uh, to come from here. We, we don't want to be getting notifications from every, uh, every time someone likes or comments or echoes something here on Parler. Next, we have our interface preferences, the accessibility here, uh, networking timeout, max auto download size, all of this stuff here, I'm not gonna really go over except for dark mode. We all know dark mode is wonderful. If we click the checkbox here, that will enable dark mode. If we uncheck that, that will take us back to the light mode. We're gonna go ahead and leave it on dark mode for the remainder of this tutorial. Uh, primary color, again, this is gonna be your background color for everything that you see and do within Parler. Uh, and then that's really all you need to do there under settings. So go back up again to the toolbar. And then the next thing we're gonna go over is switch member. You can have multiple members or people associated with an account. As you can see, I only have one now. If you want to add a person, you just tap on add person under switch member, and then you'll have to go through the whole account creation process once again. That way you're not having to log in and log out each and every time you log in to Parler. Uh, next is member verification. This is the big one, right? Member verification on Parler. Uh, basically, this will give you some uh, other features on Parler that other uh, you know, common members of Parler do not get. But you have to take a picture of the front and back of your driver's license or your ID and a selfie. Now, for me, I'm not going to do this. You may want to, uh, to get those features. You can read about those features on the Parler's website. I'm not gonna go over those now, but as you can see, if you want to get verified on Parler, go to member verification, upload the images of the front and back of your ID alongside a selfie, uh, and you can see uh, you'll have a few other options and different features that other people have, and you'll also get a badge uh, as, a, as an influencer uh, alongside kind of your profile as well. Uh, again, for businesses and people who are political figures and things like that, maybe that's something you want to do. I don't know, but that's how you get verified here on Parler. All right, now we've gone over all of the different things that I think you need to know as far as setting up and getting the settings kind of where you want them for Parler. Uh, but if we go to our home, which is the home feed here, you can see I'm only following uh, one outlet right now, which is the gaming news outlet. Think of this as a, a Twitter handle. So uh, what you can do is you can go here and you can follow different people. And instead of tweeting and, and retweeting and things like that, it's echo. So an echo would be uh, if you echo that or if you retweet that. So that's basically the echo is the, uh, the same as what a retweet would be. Now, when someone posts something and it comes up on your feed, you'll have a few different options. As you can see here on this post, uh, we have the option to comment. So the little comment bubble there, if we tap on that there, we can actually comment uh, on that by just going there and, and making a comment. And under our comments, we can upload an image, a GIF, a meme, all of that here directly with the tool sets directly within Parler. And then you just hit submit, and then boom, that comment will go onto that specific post. Then the next thing you see here is the megaphone, which is the echo feature. Think of this as a retweet. If we tap that there, it will allow us to echo with comment or just echo, just like you can either retweet with a comment or quote, or you can do it without. So I just want to do it uh, without. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to echo there. And that will actually uh, echo that onto my profile. So if we go to my profile, uh, which I will go to now, just like this, uh, and then go back to my profile, you can see that now that echo right here shows up on my profile, just like a retweet would uh, normally on Twitter. Again, there's a lot of features kind of mixed and matched from different social networks here to kind of go and kind of see which ones work the best. And then the, the upvote button is very similar to like the upvote on Reddit or the like on Twitter. Uh, very easy to do that there. And then you'll see the little weird icon over in the lower right hand corner. If we tap on that icon, we can then share that via message or uh, our phone uh, to people um, that we want to send it to via text message or other social networks. So that's how the interaction works with different posts here on uh, Parler is you have your echo, your comment, and your upvote button there. And then if you wanted to, you can go to show conversation here and it will actually show all of the different comments 
and the different conversations that are happening underneath that specific post here on Parler. And then you can do the same things to comments as you could post. You can comment on them, you can upvote or downvote them. So that works very similar to what it would on a normal post. Now, if you want to post something yourself, you're gonna see this big blue uh, comment bubble in the lower right-hand corner with the addition symbol. If we tap on that there, we can now be brought to, uh, kind of like we're, we're, we're tweeting something or we're putting a post on Facebook. Uh, put your uh, post goes here. So we'll put our post goes here. And then if we wanted to, we can even upload a meme with that post uh, via our uh, photo library, or we can take a photo if that's something that we want to do. And so adding images and, and different things and links like that work very similar to how they would in other social networks. You just create post and you're good to go. Now, a couple of other things that we're seeing at the bottom of the screen, uh, this option here, which is kind of the, the, the news or discover feature, allows you to tap on the second option at the bottom there and go through here and see all of the different uh, partners and affiliates uh, that are with uh, the app right now. And as you can see, you're gonna see a bunch of political posts currently, obviously, and, and different things that you follow will, will show up kind of relative to this feed. And then if you wanted to, you can follow them directly from this page. I'm not going to do that now because I don't wanna do that. But if you wanted to search for specific topics or hashtags, you just tap on the search or magnifying glass in the lower right hand corner and we're going to see the different members here uh, as you can see their different usernames and then whether they're verified or not and then we can follow them directly from this page so if i wanted to follow parlor news i would just tap on follow there and then it says would you like to subscribe subscribing to a person alerts you every time they they parlay and add to their content to their subscribed feed uh, I'm going to go ahead and put no because I don't want to be notified. Again, this is kind of mixing in YouTube, right? So if you subscribe to someone, you get notified, even though YouTube doesn't notify everybody. But anyways, uh, we can go through here and follow uh, different people or topics that we're interested in uh, via members, or we can go to hashtags and we can see the popular or trending hashtags here under hashtags, uh, or we can just search. So if we search up here, let's say I'm searching for video games. That's fun, right? It's not politics, it's video games. And then right here, we can see that we have different hashtags in regards to video games. I can tap on that hashtag there. And then within a few seconds, it will then pull up all of the things that are hashtagged with video games right here under the hashtag option. Lastly, we have our notifications, which is the notification bell. Uh, anybody that you follow, anything that's happening within your Parler account that you need to be notified about, comments, liking, echo, parlays, things like that, will show up here under the notification settings. If we tap on the three dots in the upper right-hand corner, we can hide, follow, or clear all of our notifications just like that. Now, again, a lot of folks are moving over to Parler. If you have any questions, I will get to those as soon as possible. Put those in the comments section. And one of the main questions is going to be, does Parler have a website or a web-based app that I can use on my PC, my Mac, my Linux machine? And yes, they do. Go to parlor.com, log in there. And once you've logged in, you can see that I can see all the stuff I see on the app right here on my Mac. Uh, over here, I had the three lines that show all of my settings right here. I can go to my profile, just like I showed you on the mobile app, just like this. I can look at suggested hashtags. Believe it or not, the, uh, the actual web-based uh, or PC and Mac based version of Parler in my eyes is easier to use and it's done a little better than even the app is uh, because you can go here and just see everything all in one place uh, and the comment and the echoes and the things like that just seem to be easier to navigate than they do on the mobile device. But everything is here. Uh, you have your menus over here. You have your feed like normal. Uh, you have your little profile up here in the upper right hand corner where you can go and edit your profile just like you would on the mobile device uh, within Parler. So that's my full tutorial. That's my overview. Hopefully it helped you out. If it did, help me out by liking, sharing, and subscribing for more great tech tips and tutorials just like this. And I will see you guys in the next video.